For this next video, we're going to load up a program and run it with a marker and compare it to a couple items I found around the shop. <laughs> In our last video, I talked about our belt here and how it was not parallel, which prevented it from moving. Well, I have fixed that. I went on McMaster and ordered a couple, four to be exact, uh, 3 8 832 standoffs. They're actually threaded on each side, which makes it easier because then I just screwed in both sides and boom. It now tracks perfectly without issue. Uh, let's see what else did I do. Uh, I bought some feet. They're not swivel, but they are rated for about 600 pounds each to finally get this off the floor. Uh, they're $18 for the floor. I also ran all my wires through the belts, as you can see here. So this one came through the tube and they all run through here and they come down here. And then let's get under the table. Okay, so we're under the table now and it is very cozy. So some additions I made, I made my cables all nice and tidy. I actually screwed into all these threaded holes and I got a longer power cable and zip tied it to those screws. And then I also did the same for the USB cable, which I also bought a longer one. Now I had a question in the prior video and it was asking about what this cable or what this table uses uh, to communicate and it's actually USB B as you would see on like a printer to USB A so it is not a serial or a parallel connection okay so I ran the cables around them underneath and I installed a little surge protector Ran my cables up through here. I also installed this nice arm for holding a, a wireless keyboard and mouse I got. I have my monitor, I got my computer up there now, and some cheap speakers, of course. Now I have the majority of the cables run. I still need to run the Hypertherm CPC cable and figure out a way to uh, run the torch up so it'll be down so the cable doesn't get caught. I really don't want to run it with the other cables. Really the last thing I need to do is check the tightness of the wheels and make sure my bolts are good to go and then level it. We are going to run our part.
Okay, and that's the end of our program. Let's send it home, go to zero. That looks pretty spot on, that's awesome. All right, so my initial intent was to compare the circles cut to these measurements of these items. So let's see how that is. WD-40, Miracle Worker. I think that would, that would have been perfect if I had a fine point, not a chisel tip. Here's our block of aluminum. That looks, that looks nice. Here is our rod. Looks good. Looks good. I mean, every, this looks nice even on our uh, 100 inches. It looks accurate. You know, the steppers, once they start moving faster, they can potentially start skipping steps. You will see here that the increased speed made a lot, um, made the rectangle corners a little more curved. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we're going to attach our Hypertherm 65 and finally do some cutting. Please subscribe and like this video.